of all the collection that I have and this one is a liquid lipstick it is a matte liquid lipstick you can make a guess faster I will give you three seconds to guess what product that I will come up next all right counting down three two one do you get that right I think if you have been following me you will know this product right here this is the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick Okay, this is the mini size one I have two more, no actually three more One more is with my sister Because I have the shade in the mini size already So I gave her the full size one like a roller coaster so I have to move the clothes into like this so it will look lesser like a roller coaster Highly Cosmetics as we know is retail for $29 and they have tons of shade in the shop too they they have a lot of these the pigmentation for this lipstick I could say it is 10 out of 10 you guys it is very very pigmented that makes it hard to remove as well when you wanna just remove your makeup you have to really double cleanse it and sometimes triple cleanse and the longevity of this lipstick is 9.5 out of 10 I know it is pretty high it is the highest pigmentation and longevity for all of the lipstick that I own here if you have a dry lips like me I have a different way to use the lipstick I will always need to use a lip cream before I apply this lipstick because someday when I want to use this liquid lipstick but I forgot to apply the lip cream beforehand my lips will look really terrible you will see okay, cracking lips on me which I really really hate I think that is really awful that is really terrible that is really ugly I don't like that so I will always remind myself to use the lip cream before I apply the liquid lipstick for the formula I have to say, even though I love Kylie Cosmetics, but I have to say that the formula is outrageously dry compared to other liquid lipstick. It smells... Yes, it smells like cotton candy. Every single one of it smells like cotton candy and in vanilla flavor in particular. You know, when I smell something like this, I will always want to eat my own lips, but then I found out that it doesn't taste good. It is not vanilla at all. The color here is very rich as you can tell and it is not transferable as well. In fact, some people say that it is transfer proof. It is kiss proof. Okay, I'm gonna swipe it like this. Okay, there you go. It is not transferable at all. There's really no stain at all even after I rub it like this. You can tell that the pigmentation and longevity that I'm talking about here is freaking real. I'm not being exaggerated about this product but it's just really awesome. And if you have a very very extremely freaking damn exceptionally dry lips, I will not recommend this one for you. But if your lips is in a good condition, you have to give it a try. Even though it's pricey, but then I know you're paying for the brand, you're paying for the products too, you're paying for the exceptional formula right here. Okay, now I've finished my top 5 favorite lipstick. I'm gonna continue with the rest of the lipstick that I have here. But it doesn't mean that I don't like this lipstick. I really like it too, but it just doesn't go to my top 5 for now. Okay, now I'm gonna try this one first. This is um, a lipstick from MAC. This is in the shade Velvet Teddy. It is a matte lipstick too. As you guys can tell, it is still very cool. I seldom use this because I'm not in the mood to use nude lipstick right now. In one swipe, you can tell that the color is freaking, freaking rich. It is very creamy. Hey! Alright, there you go. The formula of this lipstick is definitely one of my favorite, but then I think if I have to rate the longevity for this, I could rate it 5 out of 10. If you don't eat anything, it will last the whole day. It doesn't smudge as well. My hand is full of the swatches now. Oh, I can swatch here. Alright. <laughs> Next, I have this one. This is from the brand Chanel in the name Rouge Coco. 
This is originally from France as well and it's in the shape 430 Mary. Yep, the color is like this. Very not my favorite. Just gonna show you guys. Here you go. It is very pigmented. color is like this right here it is more to like a darker red color which I which is not my favorite so far I love this kind of red it's like a very cherry it's not cherry red but it's like a chili red kind of red color but not this kind of color but then sometimes my mood changes and I love to go for a more warm looking lipstick so i will go for this color sometimes okay the next lipstick that i have here is from the brand nyx nys whatever you want to call it so this is the nyx soft matte lip cream i have three lipstick right here in morocco san polo and prague their soft matte lip cream is really amazing they use a lot of um, country's name which I really find attractive on yeah so I'm just gonna swipe it right here this color right here is San Polo I think this soft matte cream has taken all around the world since they first launched as I know they first launched in 2011 which is very booming until now from 2011 until 2018 it has been seven years but this soft matte lip cream is still a lot of people's favorite until now from that i think it can be proved that this product right here has their own consistency formula and pigmentation that attracts a lot of people which i really impressed of i mean it has been released even before liquid lipstick is something in this beauty world but then it has taken a lot of people's heart but then oh it is literally not transfer proof at all you can tell that i just okay i tried on my middle finger now i'm gonna try on the other finger just simply touch it i didn't even rub it you guys but we're just gonna see how was that yes it is transferable it is I don't know. I love the consistency, I love the formula, but the lipstick stain is really not cool at all. I mean, it yeah, it just stains all so much on the hand. We're gonna swipe. I think I'm not gonna go for this part right here. I mean, this color probably isn't my cup of tea. I will try this one. This is the Morocco. I haven't even opened it yet. I think this Morocco is the dupe for Kylie Cosmetics 22. They have a very similar color, like a very similar orangey color. I really love this kind of color. This is the swatch for Kylie 22 and this is the swatch for NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I guess, should I just... Oh. Alright, I think I should just throw it inside the 22 so you guys can see clear for that I think this one is way better than 22 but I think I love 22 more than this one I mean if I have to compare about the consistency, the formula, the longevity I would prefer Kylie Cosmetics way more than NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream The next one that I got here is the Kylie Jumei Lipstick This is originally from China I think so It's actually looking like this This is a very pretty floral white soft lipstick with the kind of like gold elements in the lipstick It looks transparent as well This is the first one that I've tried already and it is almost finished I've touched the flower that I can't even use it anymore because the flower is actually kind of hard so it hurts my lips a little bit when I want to apply it on my lips okay I'm gonna swap this lipstick for you guys 
You can tell that this is transparent, but once you apply it on your lips, the color will change just best on your body temperature. And the basic color is pink color, it will not change into brownish color or either red color. It is pink color and it will either be too pinkish or just too pale. I don't know whether it is visible on the screen, but when you first apply it on your lips, it will still look transparent of course, and then it will just um, adjust it to your body temperature and change just after a while. It is very glossy on the lips. When you first apply it on your lips, it will actually feel like a... Um, it's more to like a gloss lipstick, but then after a while, it will look like a not so matte, still gloss. The glossy looking will definitely lessen after a couple of minutes. The color might not be so visible on the screen, but definitely it is changing a little bit into a more pinkish color. There's two points that I don't like from this lipstick. The first one is that it tastes really awful. I mean, the scent is like, it has the floral scent as well, which I really, really love. And then this kind of smell, I will want to try it and when I just like sometimes I accidentally taste my lips and it tastes bitter. For the pigmentation, I think it is not so good too because when you apply it, it will look really really good on the lips but then after you eat, it will create kind of like a line on your lips, you know. Um, the color fade away on the inner part of your lips and then it creates a line that is very visible too but the rest of your lips it fade off so it is very weird looking so after you reapply the lipstick as well you can still see the line on your lips okay the last two lipstick that i got here is this one this is the benefit lip tint the lipstick formula is way too watery i mean you can see that it's like mm -hmm, it's like it's very watery a lipstick like this is really not my favorite and it just tastes like a medicine you know or a it looks like it is very watery on my skin too i guess if i have to use it you can just use it on the cheek for the blush on the benefit lip tint has dried already <clears throat> when it dries out it looks like this on the lips yes on the lips <laughs> and then it is oh it is still like a very watery it's kind of lipstick is for you who loves natural color the price for this is actually a little bit pricey for benefit is definitely a high-end cosmetic products all right we have arrived in the last lipstick that i have today this is from the brand etude house and i have three different kind of lipstick i'm gonna swatch for you guys first before anything this is the dear darling teen it is definitely a peachy color as you can tell this one is the Etude House Dear Darling Tint 2 but the packaging is different This one is way interesting The color is... Oh! The color is actually very very similar to my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream Frog I think this is the dupe for that This is the last year Chinese New Year Edition Lip Tint which is really really cute This is the color for the um, Dear Darling Tint I think the color is really pretty This is a very pretty peachy color But then the consistency is way too creamy And this lipstick right here does much on my lips And the second Dear Darling Tint does the same problem as well I think the consistency is kind of different though this one is way more creamier and this one is like it's way more watery okay zooming in to let you guys see again you can see that uh on here this part right here you can tell it is empty it can be shown that this product right here is very watery only a watery product can do this if it is creamy it does not do that at all so far, the lipstick that I tried from Etude House and most of it was lip tint. I found out that, I mean, probably me myself, it's, the problem is on me. 
the product doesn't really suit my lips. I think Etude House often, you know, change their consistency. But it seems like every of the product has different consistency. Even the Dear Darling Tea, they have the different packaging formula. The longevity is all different too. Alright, this is all of the uh, swatches for the lipstick that I own today. Finally, we've come to the end of this video. This video doesn't meant to be a show of one. I just wanted to share with you guys what I got in my drawer in this year because I think probably I will get rid of some of the lipstick that I have because some of it has been on my drawer for a couple of years. I think it's time for me to get more and explore new lipsticks next year. I just wanted to do this video before the end of this year. I'm glad that I finally do it and I hope this video is helpful for you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, comment down below and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!